Hey, in today's video, we're going to take a look at another very interesting product. Have you ever been out traveling and had just a sliver of cell signal, but not quite enough to allow you to, to do really anything with it? Like you can't really do Google searches. You can't maybe pull up Google Maps and, and navigate because the signal is just too weak. Well, this product might actually solve that. It's a product from Highboost and it's specifically designed for kind of larger cars. Now I'm not talking about large RVs. They actually make a different product for that that's actually bigger. Uh, but this is for actual like SUVs and vans. And it will take a small cell signal and boost it, supposedly. Does it work? Let's find out. All right, let's see what we get in the box. One high boost user manual. Looks like a remote antenna. Magnetic base, so this would be something that sits on the top of the car. USB to 5521 uh, cable. A little USB 12 volt uh, DC adapter for your car as well. Velcro adhesive strips if you want to mount this somewhere permanently or not permanently, but you know stably So that's cool. They give you various options to uh, stick these modules inside your car. So they're Not going to bang around And the actual uh, signal booster module itself, which has got some uh, heat dissipation fins on the back side It's got some mounting screws here or mounting uh, holes, I guess um, so that you can mount this and then there's your antenna port and um, there's one on the top and one on the bottom so there's one for the indoor on the top which I assume is this guy and then there's one on the outdoor which I assume is the, the bigger guy with the magnetic thing I'm very interested to try this out because when I find myself in uh, cool locations more often than not the cell signal is uh, usually pretty weak um, so but I think how this works is you're going to have to have at least some cell signal. Uh, you can't have zero cell signal or, or this isn't going to work. So uh, we'll find out how well, this, um, how well this does in the real world. So let's do that. See you in a few seconds. I have actually had this product for a solid three months, maybe a little bit longer than that, because I just haven't had the opportunity to get it out enough uh, in places where I needed it for me to know whether or not it really worked the way it is uh, marketed. So it took me a while to actually get it out and, and try it in a variety of circumstances to see if it actually does what it's built to do. So we are going to take a look and see if it actually worked. So you can see up here we've got I think three bars. It's been anywhere from one to three bars of 4G LTE. So pretty sparse signal. And if I run a speed test right now, let me go ahead and bring that up. Not finding a provider. So that's a pretty good indication that we have a weak signal. So <laughs> that's our baseline. So I have this high boost here. This is specifically for uh, large I guess SUVs is primarily for SUVs and they make much bigger versions of this as I think I probably already mentioned in the video but this is uh, powered by USB so you can see we actually timed out and failed to complete the test so let's go ahead and attach this I want to give the car power here and we're going to plug this in And we're going to wait for the, the blue lights here. Show that we have synced up. I've got the antenna on the back of the car. And then that's the outside antenna. And then the repeater on the inside is right here. It's this little plastic puck. And I'm told you want to have this located at a vertical distance as much as possible. So the higher up on the same sort of vertical plane that the outside antenna on is in yeah, is probably not as good as getting this a little bit lower since the outside antenna is up high so we'll see let's go back to the speed test and see if we can run that because we weren't even able to run that before 
fingers crossed. So it looks like I got four or five bars now. We are actually running it now, so we got, I won't say this is great performance, but it's certainly better than zero performance. Well, this isn't bad. I think it peaked at about 11 megabits, so we're at nine, call it nine megabits down. Let's see if we have any upload strength. Upload is pretty weak. Not even one megabit. Back down to three bars. So I might want to play with this, but I mean already we're getting to where I can search things, whereas before it was basically telling me no signal. So that's an improvement. Let me pull up maps here. All right, Cedar Falls. Yeah, I wasn't able to search for this before. Cedar Falls is close to our location here. So it looks like I can actually get a signal and navigate to Cedar Falls. So that's cool. I definitely was not able to do this five minutes ago. So that's a win for the high boost. So I have got the outside boost antenna here on the back of the car, just kind of fed down through the back hatch. And uh, you could probably sort of optimize the position of this to get to maximize your signal. Um, I basically went from not working to working fine. So it seems to be fine where it is for me. So I'm just going to let it ride. But yeah, it definitely works once you figure out how to position the inside repeater and the outside repeater in a way that they don't interfere with themselves. On my Galaxy Note 20 here, I've got the Signal Supervisor app installed, which is, allows me to connect directly via Bluetooth to the high boost module here. So uh, it has logged me in. I've already added this device to my account and once we get a little indicator dot there that's green it'll show that it's connected uh, like that. So Bluetooth is connected to my high boost module and let's see in a second my uh, radio frequency performance meters will populate. You can see I'm getting kind of normal performance here out of all these. All right, so as you saw, it actually does what it's supposed to do. Now, I had a little trouble getting this to work at first for the first couple of times I took it out and went looking for a low signal zone. And the problem as it turned out, and I think I kind of alluded to this in the clips that you watched, is that because my, my car is not that big, it's a Honda Pilot, it's a three row SUV. So it's pretty decent size, but it's not like full on passenger van or RV size. You really do need to get this inside repeater puck um, lower than the outside boost antenna. So if this is on the, the back rear of your car, which is probably the best place to put it, and by the way, this magnet is more than strong enough to hold this thing in place at highway speeds. I drove around all over the place at, at highway speeds, never had a problem with this thing slipping or moving on me. So um, it doesn't scratch your paint, it just stays in place. So it's actually a really nice uh, outside unit. But you definitely want to locate this thing inside as far apart uh, horizontally and vertically as you can get it from the outside unit. And that might mean putting this all the way down in the foot well so that it doesn't uh, interfere with, with the outside unit. And when you do that, you actually do get pretty usable results as you saw. So this was a case where I forgot to download my Google Maps uh, for the area I was going to because I, I assumed I would have better coverage than I actually turned out to have. And so it's really helpful in those cases to have something that can boost the signal. Now, as I've mentioned before, you do need at least some signal. This, this booster unit does need something to latch onto that it can amplify uh, because if you have no signal, it no worky, right? So you have to have at least some signal, but it does significantly improve uh, or make the difference about whether or not you can even navigate or download files or browse the web or whatever. It might make the difference between being able to do that or not, or being able to do it at a very slow speed versus doing it at a more comfortable speed. So the unit feels very well made. I think it's, it's, you know, it's designed to be permanently mounted somewhere if you wanted to. Uh, but I, I find that it's perfectly fine sitting on the floor of the car. And then there's plenty of cable length here for a full-size SUV or a, or a fairly large like Sprinter van, that type of thing. Um, there's plenty of cable for that. And uh, it, it does what it says it's supposed to do. So check it out. If you've got a larger vehicle, and they even make versions of this for a house. So if you've got a house in a remote area where you have very weak signal, a booster might be just what you need. So um, they make different models, different prices. You know, I'll put the website and the links to all the stuff in the in the description below if you want to go check those out. 
uh, but it does work and uh, it comes in handy from time to time. So you might want to check it out. Hey, if you found any of this useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Would appreciate that, as I just said. Now I do have more of my solar panel, portable power DIY stuff. Got multiple videos in the shoot coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And I do hope to see you in the next one. And until then, have fun out there.